Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from r TV. Another quick game of interplanetary I spy for you space detectives out there. Um, now, this one is going right back to Sol 45, Mount Sharp, Gale Crater, and this is a cool image, really good quality images uh, these are from this early part of the Mars mission from the Kurosi rover. These are nice and bright, mostly, and uh, I've got a gigapan up of it here for you to look at, so if you don't want to download anything, you can just go on this gigapan link. This is by Neville Thompson, nice job here. And uh, you can just find it there. And all you've got to do is scan along the bottom of this mountain and about about two thirds of the way along, or sort of near the middle, you've got the, the, the sort of that black square there, you go along to here and down, and it's just here. You'll find it. There's loads of them here, and uh, there it is. It's the one with the windows. <laughs> These are supposed to be natural structures. They're not, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them are natural structures, that, but they've been built into and they've been carved out inside. I imagine there are pe there were people living inside some of these. Um, they might be military bunkers. Some of these I've, I've done recently, I've found machine guns on them. Check out that video, that was uh, interesting. I'll put a link to that at the end. There, so there you are, you don't even have to do anything to this image. You can see the dome. This dome is massive. I would say this is about a thousand feet wide possibly more, I haven't worked it out exactly, uh, we can work that out in a minute, um, but you can see these windows here, uh, it won't zoom in, any, in anymore there, but I'm going to show you it up here, I've got this in my graphics processor, I've taken a clip of the original image that we got here, and you can see the windows there like I just showed you, uh, that gigapan I just showed you in fact is raw, it's not being enhanced in any way, so that's how the image is look on the NASA website. They're in a sort of browny sort of colour. Uh, but when you enhance them, you can, you can change the colour a bit. I use a, a colour filter. It's a, it's a massive dome, or so-called butte, with windows on the side. And you can clearly see them here. They're rectangular, they're not round, they're rectangular, they're not natural. Mother Nature does not build rectangular structures on the side of buttes. This couldn't be down to erosion because uh, Mother Nature doesn't do that. You can see them, see? They look, it look, almost looks like a pair of glasses. They're really rectangular and you can see the edge of the rectangle quite clearly there. See that sticking out on there? And there's it sort of comes along like that and there's shadows underneath. So these are protruding with frames. And these have been cut sort of into it like that. Look how clear they are. Amazing. I was really pleased with that. And there's lots of square parts of these domes. I don't think these domes are completely natural, a lot of them. Um, they may have been, but I think a lot of them were built out of concrete and, and blocks and stuff and then just concrete poured over the top uh, to make them look natural. And a lot of them are, are heavily eroded, of course. But it also, if you look at the structure in front of it here, we have this. This square kind of thing here, and we've got these sort of intelligent looking structures. Now they're not nice little square box houses like we have on Earth. These are monolithic dome structures, okay? And they're very much like some of the things you can see that we're now building on Earth. Modern modern architects are building them now. Let's get rid of all that in a minute. Uh, so I'll put clips of all these in at the end in a minute. This is going to be a real short one. Let me just show you a couple of things just to compare. We've got uh, these monolithic domes sort of designs that are, have been done by various companies uh, and sent them to NASA. They've had a competition to see who can design the best kind of uh, living kind of uh, structures, structures to live in, I should say. And there have been many domes found on Mars in the past. This one here was, I think, found by uh, Thomas Thomas Jensen from uh, Mars Moon Space, I think, initially, this one. So there's some really cool structures here, and uh, all you've got to do is type in NASA plans for dome structures on Mars on Google Images, and these will all come up. Failing that, you can look at a lot of those on this uh, article on 
Engadget, uh, which is a website I just looked up, and uh, there's a, there was a competition here. It shows some nice images, and it's got video of, of some of these things, which a lot of them are going to be 3D printed, apparently. And uh, they've got little videos here you can check out. So there'll be a link to this page below in the description as well. Some of these are really cool, actually. Um, like living quarters and stuff like that. So the, the sort of geodesic dome shape or, or um, monolithic dome design is a very practical design. Not only because it, it's simple to build, fairly simple to build, but they're very strong. And uh, that's why bunkers... Uh, Military bunkers are, are sort of dome shape or, or a very low kind of dome shape on the ground or dug into the ground or into mountains, you know. And uh, I, I've been saying for many years now that I think um, this whole area may have been a military base at some point. And of course, um, Mount Sharp is covered in these things and there's loads of structures up here. We have the Forbidden City up here. I coined it that many years ago. Uh, the Forbidden Cities up here. You can't see it very well in this image because we're very far away. But some of the later souls, you can see the close-ups of these, relatively closer. And uh, some of them are really cool. There's big pyramids and there's, there's, there's like loads of crazy stuff. There's even a, a giant sphinx down here in the, in the lake bed here um, as well. So I've shown all them in previous videos. So do go back and check my dome and structure videos because they're all along this this uh, lake bed here. This gives you an idea of scale. Now, the rover, when it took these images we're looking at today, was actually not zoomed in as far as this. But it gives you an idea of how far away these things are. So we're looking at the base of Mount Sharp, which is this kind of area here, which is 6.6 .6 kilometres away. But that's from this image. Now, that's the effective view range. Now, the rover was not sitting down here. The rover was actually further back. But these are the effective view ranges, what you're looking at, as if you were stood here uh, looking across at Mount Sharp. So these things are a long way off and are very, very large indeed. So I would put this dome at around something like uh, six kilometres, possibly seven, somewhere between six and seven kilometres, six and a half, something like that. Uh, approximately the same because the, ro the rover wouldn't have moved much. But of course, when you have a camera that zooms right in, it makes you seem like you're much closer to the mountain than you actually are. This is what a lot of people don't get with these images. Um, they're taken from quite a long way off, most of them, and, and the rover just simply zooms in with the telephoto lens. So there we are. Um, let's have a look at the whole clip that I've done here. You can see, basically, those windows, and this looks like an intelligent structure here also, just here. So that was cool. A lot of these actual buttes are not buttes, they are monolithic dome structures that are made in natural shapes that look natural until you look a bit closer. I think this is one of the reasons why the, the, the rover didn't drive up too close to this part of the mountain and has driven all the way along the side of the mountain. Rather than drive up across here and drive across here to have a close look at these, it's driven all the way along this lake bed, along the edge here, for miles and miles and miles. And uh, all we ever got were distant shots of these, mostly. We've never had any real good close-ups. Maybe a few, but not many. Um, and had we driven closer here, we would have seen all this stuff up nice and close. It's a real shame. Whereas now we can see them from right over to the right, looking back. Uh, so that was it, really. Um, I'll just show you that. That's a comparison, you know, that nothing like it in scale. This is probably a, a sort of normal sort of house size, really. But, you know, you get the idea. You get the idea, what it were, the comparison. I found a dome with windows on it, or these sort of big kind of window-like structures to it. You know, uh, nothing like it, really, but I couldn't really find anything the same because, of course, 
we don't build in this style yet, uh, on, on Earth, uh, not with a more natural look like this. Generally, when we build stuff, it's symmetrical. It would be a symmetrical geodesic dome. This is a much more natural looking structure. And it, it basically is disguised. It's a kind of bunker. It's, I would say it's about the same sort of size as some of these on here. Let's zoom in a bit to that. It's about th this sort of distance here. So these are huge, huge things. And um, it's, it's very deceptive when you look at these images. You don't realize because this, the ground here actually falls down in elevation and goes into the, the deep part of the crater here and then goes up gradually. And then you've got Mount Sharp. And it's, it's very deceptive. It's much further away than people think it is. And these are only the lower slopes of the mountain, not the whole mountain. So this must be massive. This thing is huge. This is very, very large indeed. So these are massive. Absolutely enormous, you know. Uh, huge structures. Very interesting. So I'll put clips of all this stuff I've got here for you in a minute. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon.